In medical news, parents and pediatricians are riveted on a major study out tonight which finds a possible link between common pesticides and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. While more research is needed, the study is raising important new questions, and we begin with Andrea Cannon. Trish White's two kids have both lived with ADHD since their seventh birthdays. It is physically and emotionally exhausting. She believed genes played a big role until the new study published in the journal Pediatrics connected a pesticide commonly found in fruits and vegetables to the behavioral disorder. A combination of things always affect a, a child's behavior, so you definitely want to look into everything. Researchers had made the link between ADHD and pesticides in the past, but only in small farm communities. This is the first time the population at large has ever been tested. The study included more than a thousand children ages 8 to 15 who were analyzed for pesticides in their urine. All the children who tested above average for the chemicals were twice as likely to have symptoms of ADHD. But some say more research is still needed. We need to do a study that measures pesticide exposure very early in life and then follow the children over five or six or seven years. Fruits to watch out for, peaches, strawberries and raspberries, which experts say consistently have the highest levels of pesticides. But pesticide manufacturers responded by saying the common chemical used on produce, when used according to the label, the EPA has determined it to be safe. Still, this mother isn't taking any chances and plans to follow the old adage, you are what you eat. In this case, organic. Andrea Canning, ABC News, New York. Bringing Bringing in now our senior medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, help us out here. Some perspective on this, Rich. You know, I, you know, I'm not convinced of the link, but there, there's. It's always a good thing to reduce your exposure to pesticides, and there's several things that you can do to to do that. The first is wash your fruits and vegetables under running water. It'll act as an abrasive and can take off the pesticides. You want to peel the skin off your fruit and trim the fat off of, of meat because that's where the pesticides can accumulate. And then eat a variety of foods. If all you eat is blueberries and that has pesticides in it, you're going to get a high dose. But if you eat a wide variety of foods, that will help cover that. And then lastly, those foods you're most concerned about, you can go organic because the pesticide they levels- They are expensive. They are expensive. So don't go that way unless you re it's a food that that, that you're really concerned about. And as you know, you can't peel a blueberry That's right. very easily. That's right. Well, I know Rich has gone online to give you a lot more ideas to help. If you want to avoid pesticides on your food, go to our website, abcnews.com.